In today's Madden 21 offensive tip, I'm going to be breaking down a little mini scheme out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube and I kind of focus in on just kind of different concepts that maybe you've tried before, maybe you haven't tried before, different scheme breakdowns on the offensive and def defensive side of the ball. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, the uh, New England Patriots playbook, in my opinion, is one of the best playbooks in Madden 21. And it's, in fact, the um, focal point of our latest Madden 21 offensive guide, which will be coming out uh, later this evening. But what we're going to be breaking down here is a little preview of this. And this is the ace close offense. Now, you might have noticed that um, Kerry Q is oftentimes called Kerry Close. And he is obviously a big fan of the ace close, has been running ace close for years. Um, and if, when you pair this with some kind of hot route master, whether it be um, a hot route master quarterback or maybe a slot apprentice or maybe a tight end apprentice, it really can change how well this formation really does uh, function in terms of routes and combinations of routes that you can create. But the audibles that you're going to want to set for this are the halfback stretch, the halfback zone week, the bench, and the PA cross. And I uh, just want to show you the halfback toss as well. Um, this halfback toss is actually a very uh, interesting little run. It's not too bad, as you can see here. You can get out there with your guard, and you can get some yardage. Um, halfback tosses are actually not too bad in this year's game. And what's nice about this ace close is I can always flip the play. And basically, instead of – there's no tell when I when I change play. So you'll notice here, I'm just going to flip the play um, by the audible me audibly mechanics – and I can now run it to the left. So it's a symmetrical formation. And when you flip the play, you can flip two or three times. And as you can see, they're not going to know. Okay. So obviously the toss is probably the worst run out of all these runs. The run that I actually run the most of is actually the halfback zone week. I really, really like this run. Uh, I think this run is very difficult to shoot uh, with your user, especially because most people are going to be standing in the middle because they're going to be expecting you to run stretch. You run this halfback zone week and uh, you get fairly good blocking. Now, one of the other things that you can do with ace close, kind of similar to the single back tight flex, is you can use motion to really um, kind of improve this. You see that this motion of the tight end can actually do some really good things for your running game, especially if you're running stretch or you're running halfback uh, toss. What you'll notice is right here, I'm going to motion my tight end to the left, and he's going to kind of set up as almost like an H-back in this little pocket right here, and he's going to be able to get that nice block on that backside guy. So some really, really good um, opportunities for different types of blocking. And then obviously you have everybody's favorite run, which is the halfback stretch. And with the halfback stretch, I just like to kind of mix this in. Um, the stretch from this formation in particular from Ace Close, I think might be one of the best stretches in the game because it's very difficult to shoot this specific type of stretch run. Um, it's not quite as easy as like iPro stretch or some of the other ones because you're in a Ace Close formation with two tight ends it just you see you get better blocking on the center over the a gap you're going to be able to get that uh, nice little mechanics uh, within the game so this stretch is really really good the zone week is really really good like i said you get really good blocking and if you got a good double juke mechanic you can get out and you can really make some things happen in the running game What's also really cool about the ace close is the passing game. And again, because it's a symmetrical formation, you basically have the same routes to both sides of the field. So for example, if I come out in PA cross, you see I have a skinny post and a crossing route. Now I could flip the play and have the same thing on the back side of the formation, which I think is huge within this offense. So PA cross, I oftentimes like to run it. Um, and I basically like to put uh, two drags to my tight ends. I think these little double crossers out of ace close are actually really, really good. And a nice little quick read for you to be able to get the ball out, get it out quick uh, within this. Now, I typically will actually leave the play action on um, just because I think that it, you know, within this, I think it actually gets you better blocking. Um, you don't get user rush as much when you leave the play action on. But all in all, I think play action blocking is probably some of the best uh, blocking that you can get against different under center style of blitzes. Uh, but you see that you have a really good crossing route. You have a really good post route. And then you can kind of do whatever you want with your tight ends, especially if you have Hot Route Master. This scheme can really, really be effective. 
Another thing that you can do within this formation is motion out post routes, right? So these receivers here can be motioned to either side. So if I smart route Mike Evans and motion him outside, you'll notice that that's going to help with his ability to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage um, within the context of this formation. Again, you can do the same thing on the other side here. I can flip the play smart route godwin and then just motion him out to the right and now he's really on that trying to traditional skinny post and is going to get underneath a lot of the the deep middle third zones that he's going to face so this is just a really all in all i think very effective formation uh, again you can leverage these motion outs different ways as well one of the other things that people like to do especially if you have good deep route running is motion over those skinny posts and basically turn them into into um little corner routes and those corner routes will actually do a really good job if, if i were to run uh let me just show you if i were to run like the meta kind of the meta man-to-man -man coverage something like this right here with two purples right then what you'll notice from this is if i go into pa cross and i flip the play and smart route uh, chris godwin and motion him to the left you'll notice that if and again you do need good route running to run this but if you have good route running on that player he'll get over the top Chris Godwin didn't there because I think his speed and his route running is not as high. But he'll typically, if you have good route running, he'll get, actually get over the top of that player. Now, if you have Slot Apprentice or if you have Hot Route Master on these guys, um, one of my actually favorite uh, little route combinations, honestly, and it's really, really simple, just put both of these guys on hitches and put your tight ends on little, um, little flats. And you're basically going to run curl flats, compressed, and you'd be surprised at how good this actually is. Um, I think it's very, very effective. So, and then you could obviously, if you wanted to, you could do something like this, right? You could take your tight end, you could put him on a, uh, a flat zone, and then you could put your slot receiver here on a hitch, and then a simple motion over of Mike Evans, and now you have basically gun bunch, right? One of the main, con main concepts from mesh post, you can basically run that within the context of the ace close offense. So some really, really good things that you can do. Um, another thing that you could do is, let's say you wanted to run a flood concept to the left, but you wanted to kind of, you know, essentially you could, if you had a slot apprentice or something, you wanted to put him on a post route. You see here, I could put Chris Godwin on a post route. And then what I could do is I could take Gronk and motion him over on a flat and then have Brake run a sh little streak right up the seam. This is a basic flood now to the left side. And you'll notice that this corner route um, does a really, really good job of getting separation. The corner routes within this offense are really, really effective. Also, if you have Hot Route Master or if you have a tight end apprentice, I would suggest putting your tight end apprentice on, it doesn't really matter the side because it's symmetrical, but I actually really like to put it on the right side of the screen. Um, so, for example, most people in their offense will have a tight end apprentice and a slot apprentice, right? So one of the things you can do is you could take your tight end and you could create, you know, again, different route combinations, right? You could create something like this where effectively you're going to run a streak. You got a corner route right there. And then maybe you take Brait and you drag him across. And then maybe you do something like this right here. You know, a simple flood to the right. But this little route combination right here is actually really, really effective as well. You notice that that tight end corner route, um, i got to throw out a sack animation there. But typically that tight end corner route is going to work really, really well for you. So a lot of different passing concepts that you can go to within this formation. You don't necessarily have to have Hot Route Master either. Um, PA Cross gives you most of the routes that you need to be effective in my opinion. Um, this crossing route to Godwin is really effective. And what's nice is, again, if you have Route Tech or Slot Apprentice, or I'm sorry, a slot -a on somebody, this is going to make it even better. Now with bench, what you could do, again, is you could run post routes to both sides of the field. So I could motion over, for example, if I wanted to do something like this right here, right? If I want to do a simple uh, flat curl combination and then maybe take Gronk and, you know, again, delay fade him, right? This is a actual route combination that's actually really effective. Basically, you know, they're, they're going to kind of sit sit down on that and you see that that crossing or that post route is going to beat that man-to-man -man coverage over the middle of the field. So a lot of different things you can do with motion. My encouragement to you um, is to really work the magic, in my opinion, within this formation of consistently flipping the play. You'll notice that flipping the play just does a lot for the offense. You can do a lot of different uh, just get creative with this thing that you can create a lot of different route combinations within this, especially if you have a hot route master or if you have a slot apprentice or a tight end apprentice. So if you don't have that, you still can do a good job of that. You can easily um, these this play right here bench is really, really good. You will actually notice that um, what you can do if you take the tight ends and if you just put the tight ends on um, just put the tight ends on little flat routes, which is very easy to do. So I'm just going to put both tight ends 
to tight ends here on flats. And what you'll notice is it'll actually open up some pretty nice little windows to throw these corner routes within this formation. They're it's hard to use or symmetrical both sides. You can mix in these these runs uh, within this, and it's actually a really like I said, it's it's kind of a formation that's quote unquote designed to run the ball, but. The passing from this, I think, is really, really good. And never, ever, 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 ever uh, forget to run something like this concept that I'm about to show you. Take Mike Evans, put him on a slant. Break. You can leave both tight ends here on out. I'd probably put Gronk on a flat. Um, or maybe just put Gronk on a, on a streak. Put Jones on a little flat route. This is a very good combination right here. It's a simple flood to the right, but then you have that slant coming back right across the middle of the field. Oftentimes that slant's going to get open against most zone coverages and man coverages. They're going to have to use the, the, the slant route, and then if they use the slant route, you're going to be able to hit them with the flood on that outside. So some really, really good route combinations that you can create within this formation. I would recommend if you were going to run this as a real offense and just use this formation to have a either a hot route master quarterback or have a – um, tight end apprentice and maybe a slot apprentice in mutt it's actually very very common for a lot of offenses and i run the same thing where you have a tight end apprentice a slot apprentice and a backfield master and that's pretty much all you need to create all the routes that you need to do and all the route combos that you need to create within this but a tight end apprentice allows you to do some just a few more creative things for example what you could do is you could go to the play pa cross and then you could flip it and basically take your tight end, put him on a crossing route like this right here, and then run a simple little curl flat concept right here just like this. And then I would just motion out Godwin. And this this concept is killer. I mean, this thing, this is basically, you know, trips tight end within single back ace close. So some really good passing concepts that you can create within this formation. Um, I think the runs are really effective as well. They're going to do a good job. So I just wanted to share this little single back ace close formation. Now we break this full formation down as well as every formation in the New England Patriots playbook. Right now as it sits, the guide is over 200 pages long. We might even have to do two volumes of it, installments, um, just to get you all of the material. But uh, that guide is set to release tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We'll have several hours. I think right now as it sits, we're over four hours of video content. We're not even a quarter way through all the filming. I'm going to do all the filming for this today. But um, some really, really good material in that guide. And I'm just telling you right now, it's definitely going to be worth every penny. Um, it's very, very in-depth, very detailed, and very effective. And it's going to really help you. And we're not just covering the New England play playbook. We're actually going to be covering um, different principles, different concepts that actually transfer to any playbook that you run and talking a little bit more about philosophically what is offense, how do you, how do you actually get to where you want to go with an offensive scheme. So uh, really, really excited. I think it's going to be my best guide I've ever written, and I think it's really going to help a lot of people. So if you want to pick that up, all you got to do is just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to receive it. Um, and once it comes out, I'll shoot you a link where you can go pick it up. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. We also have a text message membership that you can join if you're not interested in the guide, but maybe you're interested in some more exclusive and high-level Madden tips. Uh, I do weekly tips to my text message members, and all they have to do to sign up for it is just shoot me a text message. Uh, again, my number is 812 216 three six four four but by shooting me a text message basically what that means then is every monday afternoon or evening i will sit down and i will shoot out text messages to my my uh, my guys my members and they'll receive uh typically you know 45 minutes to over an hour uh of different types of schemes maybe it's a gun bunch uh scheme maybe it's a minnesota vikings ebook that we did maybe it's a you know arizona cardinals uh mini scheme that was showing you some stuff out of that air raid ebook um, different things like that. We actually have over an hour and I think 45 minutes breakdown on the big nickel over G, both a run defense out of it and a pass defense out of it um, that you can utilize. So if you're looking to improve your game, if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I would highly encourage you to join the text message membership. That link is in the – or the, my number is actually listed in the description for you as well. And if you have not joined the Discord yet, that link is also in the description of this video. Now we've got three more videos coming for you today, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to be subscribed to the channel so you can catch that footage. And then we'll also be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on our YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for your support. And you can check out some of these videos that you might have missed right here on the screen or maybe to the right of the screen. And we'll see you back here in a few hours.